What's going on guys? John Alder here from tkinter.com and in this video, I'm going to show you how to create new windows with custom Kinter and Python. All right guys, like I said, in this video, we're going to create new top level windows with custom Kinter. But before we get started, if you like this video and want to see more like it, be sure to smash like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm. And be sure to grab your totally free PDF copy of my Kinter Widget Quick Reference Guide book. This thing is awesome, over 150 pages with all the Kinter Widget attributes. Grab your free copy today, just head over to tkinter.com forward slash widget dash book, enter your email address and I'll send that right out to you. And while you're there, think about membership in tkinter.com, you get all my Kinter courses, all my future courses for one low price. Use coupon code YouTube to get 30% off membership if you're interested. Okay, like I said, in this video, I'm going to show you how to create new top level windows. So we've got our app, we want to click a button or do something. And when we do, boom, a new window pops up. And we can customize this a little bit and do different things. We can put things in the window, anything we want. We can resize it or not resize it. And I'll show you how to do all those things in this video. So let's head over to Recode. I'm using the Sublime Text Editor and the Git Bash Terminal as always. And as always, you can find a link to the code in the pinned comment section below, as well as a link to the playlist with all the other videos in this custom Kinter series. So check that out if you haven't so far. So I've got our basic custom Kinter starter code that we always have. I'm calling this file ctk underscore new underscore window dot pi. And let's just come down here and first let's create a button. So I'm going to call this my underscore button. And this is going to be a custom tkinter.ctk button. And we want to put it in root. We want the text to say open new window. And let's give this a command of say new, something like that. Now we don't have this function yet. We'll create it in just a second. So let's go my underscore button dot pack. And let's give this a pad Y of 40 to really push it down the screen. So we've got a button. Now when we click it, we want to open a new window. So we needed that function we just named. So we called it new. So how do we create new windows in a custom Kinter? Well, anytime you're creating a new window in Kinter of any kind, it's called a top level window. And we need to create a new top level window. And to do that in custom Kinter, super easy. We just create a variable, name it anything we want. Uh, this is going to be a new window. So I'm going to call it new window. And this is going to be a custom T Kinter dot ctk top level. Now notice the L in level is lowercase. A lot of times when there's two words in custom Kinter, the second one is capitalized, but not so here. Top is capitalized and level is not. So it's the top level. And then where do we want to put this? We want to put it in root. And that's really kind of all we need to do. Now we can set some things when anytime you have a window, you have a title bar at the top and you can size it however you want. So we do that by the same way we do with our regular root window, right? So we call root.title, root.icon bitmap, root.geometry, whatever you want. But in this case, it's not root, it's new window, right? Because this is the name of our new window here. So we could go new window.title. And let's say this is a new window, right? And then we could go new underscore window dot, let's go geometry. And let's say we want this to be 400 by 200. And this needs to be in quotation marks. There we go. And really, that's all there is to it. So let's go ahead and save this and run this and see if this worked. Let's head over to our terminal. I'm in my ctkinter.com directory. And let's run Python ctk underscore new underscore window. And when we do this thing pops up, we can click this and boom, popped up on my other screen. But here is our new window. Now there's nothing in here. But our title says this is a new window and it's 400 by 200. Now you'll notice by default, we can resize this and you may want that or you may not. So if you don't want that, you can just like with defining other things, we can go new underscore window dot resizable. And then this will pass two things. So I'm going to say false and false. And this is our width and our height. So we're saying, do you want them to be able to resize width wise? True or false? I don't. So false. You want them to be able to resize height wise up and down. Uh, I'll say false for that too. So if we save this and run it, we get our thing, we click this button. Now you can see the little arrows for resizing won't even appear with the uh, little mouse arrow thing here, right? So we cannot resize that. If you just want one of them, we could, for instance, change this to true. It's true by default. So obviously you don't have to do this if you want it resizable. But if you want anything to be not resizable, the width and the height, uh, this is how you do it. Let's run this again. So open a window. And this time, the little arrow keys do change for the height. Uh, we can change this. But now over here, I'm dragging, I'm holding my button down, nothing is happening, it won't resize on the width. So 
Very interesting. What else can we do? Well, you may want to programmatically close your window. You can obviously hit the little X, like everything has a little X at the top right here. But if you want to, let's say, close the window, and you want to do that by creating a button. Well, first of all, how do we put things in this new window? Well, let's create a new underscore button. And it's going to be a custom tkinter.ctk button. And we usually put this in root, right? But this time we want to put it in our new underscore window. And that's how you do anything. That's how you add anything to this new window. Instead of defining it like we did down here for root, you just put it in the new window. And then you just treat it like you would treat anything in custom kinter or tkinter you know, use your pack or your grid or whatever. So here, uh, let's put the text equal to close window. And let's give this a command of close. We'll create this in just a second. And now let's go new underscore button dot pack. And let's give this a pad y of 40 push down the screen. Now we have this close function that we want to create. And the other kind of tricky thing is your functions need to be inside this function, I suppose. Well, maybe not. But you're going to want to usually put them in here. So let's define that close function. To close this thing, there's a couple of different ways. I'm just going to go new window dot destroy. And you could also go like new underscore window dot update just to make sure that gets carried out. You can also sort of minimize this and iconify it like you would with regular tkinter, but I don't like doing those things. I just like destroying it outright. So go ahead and save this. Let's head back over here and run this guy and open our new window. And hey, look at that. Now we've got a button in there. If we click the button, boom, it closes the window, we can open it back up again. And sure enough, there it is, and we can close it again. And that's all there is to it. So that's pretty much all you need to know about the new window. There's one more thing, you know, with custom Kinter, we can customize our widgets out the wazoo. In this case, there's not really much customization you can do here. So let's come up here to where we defined our new window. The only real thing we could do is set the foreground underscore color. So if I wanted to change it to say white, or you could use your hex codes. So like, you know, 0000, 000, 000, 000, 000 or FFFFFF, I think is white. Uh, the words work too, or your hex codes as always. So now if we save this, come back over here, run it. We've got this guy, boom, we could open our new window. And now the foreground color is white. Again, to me, that's the background color because it's behind everything. It's in the back of, for instance, our window. Foreground colors are in the four. Custom Kinter just calls all backgrounds almost foregrounds. But either way, if you want to change the background color of your app, you use the foreground color attribute uh, when you define your widget right here. Otherwise, that's kind of all there is as far as customization goes. Uh, we can obviously add a, an icon if we wanted to. In the same way we do with our root, it would just be new window. I'm just going to leave that off because who cares? And that's really all there is to it. So that's how to create a new window, a top level window with custom Kinter. Super easy, a very useful, and that's all there is to it. So that's all for this video. If you liked it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and be sure to grab your totally free PDF copy of my Kinter widget quick reference guide book. This thing is awesome, over 150 pages with all the Kinter widget attributes. Grab your free copy today. Just head over to tkinter.com forward slash widget dash book. Enter your email address and I'll send that right out to you. And while you're there, think about membership in tkinter.com. You get all my Kinter courses, all my future courses for one low price. Use coupon code YouTube to get 30% off membership if you're interested. My name is John Elder from tkinter.com and I'll see you in the next video.